Hello, I'm back. For today's video, I'm doing a relaxing skincare, minimal makeup, get ready with me kind of video. Just want to pamper myself, relax with you, talk through my skincare, and do a little bit of makeup. So let's go. I'm going to start out with a half cup of water. I'm going to add my Zizia. Zizia. Botanics. 11 flowers tincture. Today is my best friend Sophie's birthday. It's May 21st. And she actually gave this to me for my birthday last year or two years ago. So I'm taking two milliliters of this tincture and putting it into my water. Looks a little crazy. It tastes really good. It tastes like flowers. The ingredients are rose, chamomile, passion flower, linden, lavender, hawthorn, leaf and flower, calendula, mimosa, hops, also teo, desert lavender, cane and or grain alcohol, distilled water, organic vegetable glycerin. I love this tincture so much. So happy birthday, Sophie. Thank you for my present. I already brushed my hair and now I'm going to add in um, some of this oil mixture that I made. It's made from jojoba oil with lavender, patchouli, um, rosemary, and Atlas Cedarwood essential oil. It smells really, really nice, and I like to use it in the dry ends of my hair. I'm going to put on this little headband just to get my hair back from my face. And I'm actually gonna use a scrunchie. So now I probably look like a little naked egg. I have a little bit of that oil left on my hands, but I am gonna start with a little bit of this Aesop Rose Hip Seed Lip Cream. I don't have a mirror, so I'm just winging it. And I'm going to use this oil. This is a rose oil that my friend Jackie made. I love the label so much. And I'm not sure exactly how she made it. I just know she makes really beautiful oils and whenever she has a new batch, I like to support her and also get a new oil to use as a face oil. So I'm going to use just a couple drops, five drops of this oil. And I'm going to pat it on my face. It smells really, really good, like rose, but kind of like earthy rose.
And now I'm just going to do a little face massage. I've watched a lot of videos about facial massage. So I know that you are meant to go upwards. Use oil. The skin on your face is very delicate. But I, I tend to watch the videos and then forget the technique immediately after. I kind of just do whatever feels good. I use my ring finger, especially in the area around my eyes. I'm going to get a little more oil. I don't have a jade tool. I think I would get one if I was able to go shopping where didn't have to order from Amazon. I, I have not been ordering from that website. So I just haven't really bought anything or ordered anything. I mean, it would be nice to have one, but I feel like my hands work fine. Just doing whatever feels good getting the blood circulating. I've seen that you can do a jaw massage to your hands like this. It feels really good. I like to do light motions, starting from the forehead. And then down the neck. And now I'm going to rinse this off. And then I'm going to cleanse my skin with this. Best number nine jelly cleanser from Drunk Elephant. It's really nice. I like this cleanser a lot. I'm back from washing my face and obviously my face is wet. I have been air drying my face, which feels really nice. And then I don't dry my face with a towel that might have bacteria on it and sometimes I use this Aesop exfoliating paste purifying facial exfoliant paste that has fine quartz rosemary leaf lactic acid the quartz is like a gentle physical exfoliant. The lactic acid does a gentle kind of chemical exfoliant. I really like this stuff. So sometimes I use this probably like two times a week. I'm not going to use it today. And also sometimes I use this Hodali Instant Detox Mask. And this is a clay mask that I use when my skin feels really congested. I'm also not going to do a mask today. This is more like what I do on a regular basis. Although a lot of times I don't do the facial massage. I'll just wash my face with the jelly cleanser. Then I'll use the La Roche-Posay. 
thermal water. This is just... Oh, it feels so good. It's basically thermal water from France. Spring water. And it kind of just like refreshes my skin. I feel like it's more neutral than the tap water in New York. So then I'll let that air dry. And next, I use a toner because my skin is combination and it's definitely oily in the T-zone. Even though I'm not going outside, just in the house, it still gets oily. So I picked up this Pixie Vitamin C Tonic. I kind of got it after I ran out of the Pixie Glow Tonic. I thought I would try this as like a brightening toner. I don't really like it very much. I think it's overly scented. And I don't think it's like effective as a vitamin C treatment because I've heard that with vitamin C serums, you um, they should come in like sealed packaging that doesn't allow light because they oxidize in sunlight so I just don't think that this is like really high quality vitamin C I think they made it smell like citrus essential oil so that you kind of associate it with vitamin C I don't think it's like the worst I just don't think it's super high quality I won't be repurchasing and then I had to buy a new facial moisturizer about a month into quarantine and I've been going to CVS which is my pharmacy where I get my prescriptions so I decided to buy new moisturizer from CVS before I was using the drunk elephant like peptide moisturizer which really agrees with my skin but is like super expensive I think it's $68 for an ounce or something okay it's the same as this CeraVe moisturizer because I got this to try to be like a dupe of the drunk elephant moisturizer and when I looked at both of them, they were both 1.7 ounces. This one was like $16. So I'm using this one at night. I really like it. Uh, I got it because it has like ceramide, ceramides or something. I was like researching something that would be similar and I've heard that this company from the drugstore is really good and gentle for all skin types for sensitive skin and then for the daytime I've been using this La Roche Posay double repair face moisturizer I use about that much I use it on my face my forehead and also on my neck just all over so I think this moisturizer is pretty good they sell La Roche Posay and Aven at my CVS and I think that those in terms of skincare I think they're good brands and this seems like a neutral facial moisturizer. I think it might be a little bit heavy for my skin, especially since it's getting warmer. But this one has like ceram ceramides and niacinamide. 
and glycerin. I actually think this is a really good moisturizer. I'm happy with my purchase. I'm going to use this Kiehl's Butter Stick Lip Treatment with sunscreen. I've been really layering up my lip balm. I think since I've been inside so much, everything is just kind of like dry, dehydrated. Maybe that will make me look a little more alive. I'm actually going to spray myself again. Let that soak in. I'll drink some more of my 11 flowers tincture. I think I'm going to do a little bit more makeup than I normally do. Also, I'm going to try to shoot another video after this. Yeah, I think it'll be fun just to put on a little bit of makeup and keep chatting with whoever's watching this. I just fixed my hair and I'm going to zoom you in a little bit still look like an egg but that's just the way it goes so I like to brush up my eyebrows and I haven't been doing an eyebrow gel on a regular basis but I think I'm going to do that today I'm using the Glossier boy brow in the color brown I kind of stopped plucking my eyebrows years ago. I just clean them up if they're really out of hand, but I think that it makes me look younger, which I'll take that. I think I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow and eyeliner and I'm going to use this like Laura Mercier bronzer I think it was like a free gift with purchase from Sephora I got like a Laura Mercier little kit and I use this sometimes I don't really use it that much and then I use the translucent setting powder. That's what I really got the kit for and it's been really nice. I have this like tiny little thing and it's lasted me for years, so. <clears throat> this bronzer is really light, so it might not even show up at all on camera. It barely shows up in real life. And now I'm going to use this Glossier Lid Star in the color Herb. And I like to use this as an eyeliner. I use it on the like mid. end of my eye. Kind of like um, a little bit of a wing eyeliner. It's kind of like a shimmery olive green. I'll let that dry for a little bit and then I'm going to mix two blushes. This is the RMS Beauty Lip to Cheek. The color is Beloved. It's like a bright, for me, kind of like a sunburn tint red. I'm not gonna put a little on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna use some of the Glossier Cloud Paint in Dusk. This is like a neutral, bronzy, rose color. 
I use like the littlest bit. Um, I'm gonna try to kind of like just do like a, where the sun would hit my face, like a sunburn, because I'm obviously not going out in the sun. That's also why I didn't put sunscreen on. I have not been wearing sunscreen because I haven't been going outside and on the days that I do go outside, I do wear sunscreen. I'm gonna use this like e.l.f. duo fiber kind of brush. And maybe I'll do a bit on my brow bone, oh no. So, and it's not coming off. And when I do this, I'm just wiping off all of the bronzer that I put on. I'm going to use the another Glossier Halo Scope. And I'm blending it in with my fingers. So now I'm going to put the bronzer back on that one eye. I really wanted to make this like a real makeup look where I don't mess up. My um, my Biba makeup look was really somewhat disastrous. To put on mascara now, I'm gonna use Shiseido eyelash curlers. I've been trying to do this lately, it's kind of fun. Some of the videos that I watch, girls put on fake freckles. And I have this like NYX micro brow pencil. I've been like just kind of dotting it where I see a little sunspots on my face already. Honestly, I don't think it does anything, but it's pretty relaxing. Okay. I think that probably looks like nothing happened, but trust me, it's a little more freckly. And then I'm going to use the Laura Mercier powder in my T-zone where I'm oilier. I'm going to use a Bite Beauty lipstick in the color Gaspacho. I'm going to use it on my finger. I'm just gonna rub it in as like a stain. So this is my finished look and I'm going to take my hair down. Although I don't really wear my hair down all that much. I'll zoom out. Maybe I'll zoom in. Thank you so much. If you watched this video, please text me if you watched it and you enjoyed it. If you're my friend, happy birthday, Sophie. I will see you in the next one. Bye.